I think they're ready I don't for think the they're weekend. Ready, man. I think they're ready for the weekend. Um, yeah. So you know this show. Um, this Sunday, it's the longest, one of the longest running comedy shows on TV. It's oh, going to yeah. kick off with a little victory lap, Chloe Coast. Oh, I can't wait to see it. And I mean, you could get a picture. You can see Snoop, Snoop. Dogg there. You can see Nick Cannon. Um, it's Nick Cannon's Wild and Out Live. Yeah, and the show has aired on TV for 20 years. And Nick Cannon is celebrating about bringing the final lap tour around the country. It's happening here in Las Vegas, September 1st inside MGM Grand Garden Arena and the star of the show, the creative mind behind it all. We told you he'd be here. He's live with us right now here on Arc Las Vegas. It's Nick Cannon himself. Nick. Woo! Mr. Cannon, Nick Cannon, wearing there the sweatshirt go. appropriately. Oh, hey, I love it. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Um, Welcome to Vegas. Yeah, well, 2005, Nick, 2005. <laughs> uh, if we would have told you back then Hey, you're gonna have this show. Oh, you're shaking your head already. So you're already thinking. <laughs> you're already thinking. You didn't think it would last this long. Man, I I created a legacy brand when I was just really trying to give my friends a job. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and and it, it, it honestly, it was. I was just trying to make sure I could help Kevin Hart and Cat Williams and all of those guys pay their bills back in 2005. And now they got more money than all of them. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Nick, I got to ask you, so you guys are coming out to Vegas, man. It's going to be a blast. The Having Wild and Out in Vegas, I mean, it's got to bring a different type of energy to the show, right? Yeah, it definitely does. It's funny, the first, one of the first times we ever did Wild and Out Live was in Las Vegas at a comedy festival. There we go. Uh, and you know, it literally was like almost 20 years ago. So to kind of have that that Vegas energy where everybody is known to get wild, to bring wild and out there is going to be a good time. I feel like every single person I know knows exactly what wild and out yep, is. Yep, they have. Yep. I mean, I don't know Same anyone here. who hasn't seen it. It Same is here. such a, such a good show. Um, Nick, what is, I mean, you're obviously a multi-talent. We've seen that over the years. Do you have a favorite part of, of, of putting on a show for people? What's your, what's the best moment i mean the live show is so cool because you get to see the people actually that are fans of the show become a part of the show we bring people on stage we play the games with them we rap with them we joke with them you know uh and it's everything that you love from the show to see people who really appreciate it actually get to come out and and be a part of it yes but when you film <laughs> wild and out like that's in front of a live audience too so how does it differ like stadium tour versus what you guys do in the show I think because even like when we film the show, it's usually in spots like, you know, Hollywood or Atlanta. Oh, okay. like, you know, those are the audience is like casted, which is fine, but there's nothing like people who are paying their good money because they're real fans of the show and these are hard working individuals who just want to have a good time and come out, have a few drinks, have some laughs, enjoy some comedy and some and some hip hop. And really that's that energy is Second and none. We do the meet and greets and all of that. So, like, really Ooh. interacting with the fans is the best part. I'll say it because Nick won't. It, the, those studio audiences are stale, is what he's saying. <laughs> you know, not in Vegas, man. Up. They have a good time. You, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Nick, hey, lead us all on this. Who's going to be some special guests that are going to be on this show? I mean, I, I, I hear rumblings. We got some hip hop legends that's going to be joining us, uh, along with all, obviously all your favorite cast members yeah, from right. from the DC Young Flies to the Justine and Valentines, the Pretty Vs, the B Simones, all of those people that you love from the show. But I, I, I hear rumblings that like Lil Kim might be in the building. Okay. I'm, I'm hearing rumblings that Chance the Rapper might be in the building. And it's Vegas, so you never know who's going to pop out. I hope it's more than rumblings because we just put it up on a poster right here on. on <laughs> yeah, they're going to be there. They're going to be there. <laughs> Okay, cool, cool. I, I love the swag, too. I mean, he was wearing a, a sweater that I'm like, hey, I need to get my hands on that, too. <laughs> it's just such a classic, Nick. Um, what could potentially be the next step? I feel like the opportunities for you are endless. I mean, really, it's such a beautiful platform because... I feel like I've been blessed and, and it's one of my gifts to help discover new talent. And everybody has come through this, like the names that I've already named. But then even like when you see people who are popping now, like the Pete Davidsons and the Matt Rice, and now we're doing our, our 20 or season 21 and up, uh, there's brand new 
comedians and, and acts that are emerging that I'm really excited about. So when you say what's next, it's like whatever that this, hopefully this next generation, this next class of Wild and Out that's uh, operating right now are going to be just as big as stars as, you know, the cats from season one. Oh, they flowing right yeah. now. Love it. Yeah, Love it. Springboard to superstar in there. Wild and Out tour, uh, sorry, Wild and Out live tour.com is the site. Nick Cannon coming here to Las Vegas, bringing the show. Thanks. This Woo! weekend, Pleasure, Labor man. Day weekend. Yeah, we this up. September 1st. Hey, thank you for being here, Nick. Really, really no appreciate doubt. it. Thank Have you. Have fun with it. All right, peace. Uh,